Get up, get me a hint there. My name is Kevin, and today we're going to be comparing Revelate Designs versus Apadura versus Ortlieb bike packing bags. There are a ton of brands out there making bike packing bags, but I feel like these are the three that I've heard most often, seen most often in stores, and also seen on most people's bikes. Now, over the years of getting into bike packing, I've had almost relationships with each of these three brands and really put them through their paces. And I've learned some things that I wish I knew when I started buying my own bike packing bags that I'm gonna share with you. One note though, is that I'm not going to try to make like an apples to apples comparison across all three of these lineups because we have some that are waterproof, some that aren't, some have zippers, some have sliders, some have little flaps and buckles and whatever else. So it's not easy to make a comparison just straight across the board. What I'm more so gonna talk to you about is how well these products have held up over the years of bike packing, how well I think they address the needs of bike packers, and how good their customer service has been because I've broken things on all these bags and needed to contact customer service for all of them. Now let's get a little bit geeky. Let's dive into all the bags that I've used from these brands so you get a good understanding of which bags I'm using to make this comparison. Starting off with the bags at the front of the bike, I've used the Ortlieb accessory pack and Ortlieb's front handlebar roll. And what I've seen from Apadura is they have something very similar to this. Then I've also got to experience Revelate's little harness, which has, instead of a bag that you stuff from the sides, has a whole little harness system that you can take out and you just have a dry bag here. Then, moving on to the cockpit. These are the Apadura, I know, the, I know them as snack bags, but that's not their like official name. I've used the Apadura food pouches, use these on a lot of rides and absolutely love them. I've also used the equivalent bag from Revelate Designs, but it wasn't mine, it was a friend's that I got to use on a bike packing trip, but I do have experience putting that one through his paces. Then, this is funny because I have a comparison from each brand for a cockpit pack. This is the Ortlieb cockpit pack, the Revelate mag tank, and then the Apadura cockpit pack. This is the one with the slider. That doesn't work. Uh, then this one isn't really in the front, but it's kind of on the top tube still. I have the Jerry can from Revelate Designs that sits right up underneath my seat towards the back of the top tube. Moving on to the frame. Now when it comes to the frame, that little triangle in the middle of the bike, I have this Revelate Designs Tangle half frame bag. So the goal is it takes up half that space. Still got space for water bottles. Then I got the Apidura frame pack. Again, half of it, still got space for bottles under there. I've got this Revelate Designs like half kind of thing. It's supposed to take up like a quarter of the bike or I really got this because my wife's bike is really small. So I was hoping this can go there and she could still fit a water bottle in the back. But to be honest, I haven't really used this. I just like the fact that it's small and it has this little magnet thing. Then what I've thrown away because it broke was the Ortlieb full frame pack. So instead of this being half, it only takes up half that triangle. I did start off bike packing with a full frame pack from Ortlieb, but that zipper broke completely and I threw it away. Then last at the back of the bike, I got the Ortlieb 17 liter seat pack. This is just a little road top waterproof thing right there in the back. Use that a lot. Then more recently, I started using this Revelate Designs Terrapin system. Instead of it just being a roll top that you stuff in there, this like the front has this little removable thing that then you can pack and unpack your bike out of. Now that we've gone through all the gear that I've used to make these comparisons, let's start comparing. Beginning with Ortlieb products. Now, I think these people are known for their waterproofness and this was the first brand of bike packing bags that I even got. Now, before I even got any bike packing bags, the first thing I ever got was this little cockpit pack for just commuting around because my local bike shop told it about how it was <laughs> toted? What does that even mean, Kevin? They just kept boasting about how this thing was waterproof, it'd keep everything dry, it would last you forever, no issues, blah, 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 whatever. Then this little thing like ripped off, this bottom piece of the Velcro here that's needed to attach it, it came off. We then took it to the bike shop. They put super glue on it, came off again. They put like some cool carbon paste, whatever, came off again. Some other thing came off again. So sent it back to Ortlieb and then they sent me this one. You can see there's an issue with this one. I don't know what happened to the zipper. It just decided to explode on me. And there's no way that this is now functional. So I sent the message to them and they sent me a third one, which I gave away because I'm done with Ortlieb zippers. Why? It's not just this one thing. I also, as I mentioned earlier, I had the full frame pack, the frame pack that I had broke on me in the middle of a bike packing trip. The zipper was just 
I was zipping up and down. It's not like it was overstuffed or anything. It just decided to pop out and not work. The zipper just completely broke. And if you've ever used waterproof zippers, they're just burly. Like it is burly to create that waterproof seal, but it would not go back in. It wouldn't, luckily it didn't rain the rest of the bike packing trip, but that just kind of sucked. The fact that that thing broke once and that's it, it was done with. But again, I messaged Ortlieb and they sent me another one. So overall, the biggest shining star for me from Ortlieb is their customer service. They're freaking fantastic. I haven't had to replace anything with this handlebar bag or this seat pack. And this seat pack may be my favorite pack of all time. Just how much stuff it can fit, how little it sways, how good it good, the air, the waterproof, all that stuff. This may be my favorite pack of all time. Definitely the one I put the most miles in, for sure. So overall, I'm staying away from Ortlieb zippers, which puts a huge hole in their lineup for me. And that probably means I will never buy another Ortlieb bag. But if you have Ortlieb stuff, know that Ortlieb's got your back. Now, as far as how well they solve problems for bike packers, I give them like a nah. I don't think they have any little like design thing on any of their packs that I've seen that's like, whoa, that's creative and that's unique. Nothing that I've seen is like that. I feel like they take the stuff that's tried and true and just make it really, really waterproof. So the waterproofness is huge, but I don't think they're like bike packing bag innovators. Next up, Apidura. Step up to the plate, sir. Yo, this is like the sexy Ferrari of bike packing bags. <laughs> I think hands down, they look the best. Just don't even like, no question in my mind. Then they came out with this cool little like blackish line that's like this with the yellow with the reflective thing and it looks so freaking good. So after everything with Ortlieb started happening, I'm like, all right, let me look towards something else. Then I saw like every cool bike packer and gravel racer and this and that, whatever world explorer was using Apidura. I love the way that it looked, especially dirtied up. So I started with the cockpit pack, just like I did with Ortlieb. Got this thing. The Ortlieb pack was annoying with the zipper around. It didn't really work for a lot of reasons. So I thought up and down, right down the middle would be great. Has this cool little slider. I like the form factor of this better. It can easily fit a phone and all that stuff. But the zipper man, or this little, it's not even a zipper. It's like a little slider thing. Didn't work. Then around the same time, this side zipper on the frame pack, which I also freaking love the look of. This is waterproof and it fits better inside of my frame pack. So I was super jazzed for this, but then this zipper broke. And look, it's broken again now. Both of these things broke. Contacted Apidura, especially after my experience with Orleave, I thought they'd be like, bet, send it in, but we'll pay for it or we'll send you a new one, something like that. No, they're like, pay, Whatever amount of money, it wasn't crazy. It was maybe like 25 to $50, something in there to ship it back to England or something like that, which these things are already pricey as it is compared to other bags. So the fact that you had to pay to ship it back was kind of a bummer. They said they'd get it to back to me in three weeks. It was like three-ish months. Then it comes back. This is the repaired bag. I haven't taken a bike packing trip with it since they repaired it. And look, it's damaged. Same thing with this bag. I haven't taken a trip with it since they repaired it. And there's like all these little spots where you can tell evidently that the zipper just is like already starting to break up and it, it gets hung up on a lot of things. And it's just, I messaged that Padura. I was like, yo, I got these bags. I haven't done a trip with them and the stuff doesn't work. You just repaired it, but it's not repaired. They're like, all right, well pay another whatever dollars to send it back to us again. And I was like, I didn't use these yet. You just sent it to me, said it was good and repaired. It broke. And now I got to pay to ship it back to you again and probably wait another three months. That's the only thing that's like, what are you doing, Apidura? So simply from that interaction, I probably have sworn off of ever paying for another Apidura thing again. Am I happy to try this if they come and they're like, yeah, Kev, try these bags or sorry, we'll fix it again. Yes, because I think they look freaking phenomenal. But am I paying for it again? Hell no. Am I paying to ship these back? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. The only thing though, switching gears a little bit, that is Apidura's freaking saving grace is these food pouches. Yo, I love these bags so much. These are hands down my favorite bags. It's wild how much stuff they fit. Literally, I, I can't, Listen, if, if you would sit and watch a video or a little short of me just stuffing one of these things in, let me know because I will make it. But the amount of things that this thing holds, and it literally can hold all the way up to here because 
if this is full and you pull this tight, it'll just close around the stuff. So it can, yo, it's a lot of stuff that can fit in here. And this little mesh pocket all around thing, I've used a lot of other little bags. This is the one that feels the stretchiest, but then holds my stuff securest. And it's like right, the right size and the right spot. I don't know how to explain it. It fits everything, all my trash and stuff in there. I have no issue putting in or getting out or worried about stuff popping out, whereas other bags, it's like hard to get in or whatnot. And the crown jewel of this bag is this little closing system. Dude, truly one-handed. I've used plenty of other bags before, but this is the only one that I can genuinely say I can keep my hand on my handlebars open this, get whatever I need, close it easily without like faffing about too much, without worrying about me falling over or stuff spilling out or anything. This is truly one-handed and I freaking love it for that. And it's been, I've taken this with me on every single bike packing trip, still works flawlessly. So Apidura, this is your saving grace. This bag right here, I will never get rid of. I don't know if I will ever replace but everything else, your customer service, these zippers, the sliders, things, what the hell, man? That's my thing of Epidura. Looks sexy, customer service, I think sucks, but this little food pouch, phenomenal, phenomenal. And as far as Apidura is like solving bike packers needs, I think they're a little better than Orlieb in that they try to innovate a bit and they do some stuff that is kind of unique in their own. But Revelate, I think just does it better. A little better. Is that it? That it? Okay. Revelate Designs. Started with Orlieb, zippers broke, mess up. Went with Apidura, zippers broke, customer service sucks. Then I found Revelate Designs. One thing when bikepacking that people do not realize is that using bags like this that are on your bike that are kind of a hassle to take off when you're on your bike, so you just normally, what I always do is just unload and load it while it's on my bike. Your fingernails, like especially like the, the nail beds here where they end up start to hurt and just your fingertips too because you're doing a lot of this stuffing constantly in and out just on the bike. But that is one of the biggest things that I think Revelate solves for me in these little harness systems. So this is the front, they got this little harness and then it, what the, oh right here. In the back, also a little harness. So when you get to camp, to set up camp, you can take this thing out Throw it on the ground wherever you want to set up camp, and then you got, like what I do, I keep everything for camp in this backpack. I got everything for camp right there. I can just set up easily without having to go back and forth with my bike, without worrying about my sleeping bag being on the ground, without worrying about any of that. Then when stuffing, instead of grabbing the top and then shoving it in, I can go piece by piece, like in my tent, while, especially if it's raining or something, stuff everything in here and have this waterproof bag packed inside of my tent and just put my tent either outside or in the back or whatever. And I can then use the ground to push against it. Something solid in the end of it that I can push and not have to hurt my fingers as much. Same thing with this front bag. This app, this orderly bag is great. Super, it's like bomb proof, but taking this on and off your bag is a hassle. And then if you have drop handlebars, if you have drop handlebars, this is gonna look something like this. This just undoubtedly gets in the way, so you don't have full access to it all, right? You're kind of trying to stuff and unstuff by going underneath this bar and then in, because no, you know, it's just there. So this is, this solves that, because then you can just take the whole bag out without having to undo all this stuff, without having to worry about whatever else is in front. This little thingy here, just pop it out, do whatever you need, take out your food. I freaking love that Reveille. On the cockpit packs, excuse me, on the cockpit packs, we've had issues with zippers. Here comes Revelate, eliminating zippers, bro. Eliminating zippers, look at this little boop, and it flips open. Super easy to do one-handed while on the bike. Grab all your stuff, you don't even gotta worry about closing it, you just kinda throw it. Even if it doesn't fully latch in there, this is still waterproof from the top down. I mean, there's some still stuff there, it could get in, but if it's raining from the top, if something spills or whatever, it's good, and look at that. You can just, solid, closed, 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 closed. Look at, look how easy, I could do this all day, man, all day. Again, solved another major issue. Then they put it on this little frame pack, the little, 
Yo, great, but, 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 this, right? I talked to you about the how great the no zippers are. Then they come with the zippers. On this frame pack, I have to tell you, man, it's not a waterproof zipper, like the Ortlieb one, nor does it have the little waterproof flap. Like this Apodura thing is waterproof because there's a little waterproof flap over the zipper. Makes sense. So this does not claim to be waterproof. Hella water resistant though in my own experience. And this zipper, I don't know. Never have I had an issue with it being like caught, slowed down. Ne I've definitely overstuffed this. I definitely overstuffed it. Still closes. No issue. Easy. Oh, dude. It does the Orleaf zipper when it's waterproof too. It's it's like hard and really scratches your hand going in and out. This it's it's soft. It works, dude. So they killed the non-zipper game, and they killed the zipper game. Then this also has, in my opinion, the best internal organization out of any back. Can you see in there? Can you see? It has like inside of this pocket. There's the pocket. Then there's like little side pockets here. So out of all of those bags that I've seen. This one has by far the best organization. So I feel like Revelate is coming in and just really making things easy for bike packers. I also think they're like the OG bike packing bag manufacturers. Ortlieb, 1981. Apidura, y'all are definitely the new kid on the block. Don't even, don't even try. Whoa, female founded Apidura. All right, I kind of like it a whole lot more now. Apidura was founded in 2013. New kid on the block, I knew it, you could just tell. All right, Revelate. Yeah, 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 there you go. I think that's what it is. So I think Ortlieb was started first, but it was Paneers, more like bike touring. I think Revelate is the OG when it came to bike packing. Anyways, that was a fun little tangent though. I like learning about some history there, that was fun. Uh, Revelate, great innovators when it comes to bike packing. I feel like they definitely, in my, my favorite gear when it comes to what to use when bike packing, but by far, the ugliest, in my opinion. I just, I'm a, I'm a fan of the black, but it's just that, I don't know, the stuff that they use, the X-Pack or whatever, the this, the, nothing about it is like, whoa, that looks good. I think it's just, it's just, it's just like a, a, a tool. It's just like a hammer. It's like a very good hammer, but not a hammer that you're gonna put on display. Do people put hammers on this? But Revelate, you win when it comes to making stuff for us bike packers. Thank you very much for designing. Thank you very much for making stuff that lasts well too. Nothing, actually, wait, wait, no, I did have something break recently. This thingy broke. This little hook that works, right? Cause this goes in here, does this thing. And then this comes around back and hooks up here. Solidified in place. I, uh, I it kind of my fault ish, in the sense of I told you I put all my sleeping gear in this. This is 17 liters, but I started off with much bigger bike packing gear. So now everything is pretty slim, and I was fitting everything in here and was just trying to pull this up, grab it on, and then like cinch it down. So it did grab. I was just cinching it down, and then it broke. So. I gotta contact them about this still. I don't know what their customer service is like. I applied to be an ambassador for them and I never heard anything back. So I hope their customer service is better than that. <laughs> but Revelate Design kills it in my opinion when it comes to designing for bike packers. They just don't have the best look. But in terms of quality, it's just that one little piece that's broken so far. All the zippers are great. All the metal stuff has worked great. All the buckles have worked great too. So I'm. Huge fan. Even with all these bags and as much as I love them, I have a dilemma. I want one brand from front to back on my bike. None of these brands do it for me. Because Revelate, I love the ingenuity of it, but it doesn't look that great. Apodura, love the looks, but I don't think it's gonna last one. The customer service, in my opinion, sucks. Ortlieb has great customer service and their stuff is super waterproof, which is super needed, but it doesn't look the best and the zippers, I'm just, I'm done with that. So maybe there's a little cottage company out there that I can try that meets all of those needs. If so, please leave your comment down below or send me a DM, send me an email, whatever. If you have a brand that you really like and feels like hits on all three of those, I will warn you, I am picky when it comes to looks. So please don't be offended if you send me something and I'm just like, I don't like the look of that. Cause that's probably gonna be the first thing that I'm just gonna cut it off right away if I don't like the look. 
Let me know your experience with these brands to see if it's greatly different from mine, let me know. Or if there's another brand out there again that you think meets all my criteria, please let me know. I hope this helps you and hopefully it saves you some money because I've spent a lot of money on bike packing bags, learned all these lessons, and now I'm sharing it with you. So hopefully you've learned that, you can pick your right brand moving forward, even if it's one of these three, let me know down below which one that is. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure to do so. We got a lot of fun stuff coming, a lot of good stuff coming. Like this video if you liked it. Y hasta la próxima, mi gente. Nos vemos. Hey, baby. Hey. What's that, mommy? You gonna help me record? Which bag do you like the most? Hmm? Revelate? Apadura? or Orlib.